We all good? All good, yeah. Got back from Dale's, haven't we? Yeah. And that truck that came in earlier is back. So, which I'm pleased about, because I might have a chat with him again tomorrow, if he's about. Nice bit of kit though, that, innit? Look at that. Just got back from Mongolia, apparently. Where's the van keys? In my hand. Oh, you've got them, right. Cool. Oh. oh, you need to tell me something. Go on then. I'll have a drink. Well, we might go and have a drink in the pub in a bit. But we might end up sitting outside here for the rest of the night because mum can't get in the car get in the motor home. I know. <laughs> can you see it? No, I can only just reach it. Do you want me to get it? Go and see it. Let, let, let me have a look. You got the right key? Oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> and it's a pain in the ass, to be fair. You put it in and I'll pull it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll trust you. I'll yeah. just... No. There we go. That's it. And again. Oh, marvellous. See, I knew that would work. What? You put it in and I'll pull it. <laughs> Stop it. Experience, eh? Stop it. <laughs> oh. Go on, Jim Bob, in you get. Oh, dear. This is dangerous. <laughs> You've got a Bailey's. You know, I just oh, fancied one. Oh, I bet you did. That's yeah. it. Yeah. After this, I might have one more and then I'll be pickled. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> no, I don't I don't think she ought to have any more either. Mm. Go on then. Drink glasses. Here we go. Come on, guys. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. You singing?
can't believe it. So we've come to the pub and we thought we'd have a nice quiet drink. Um, there's a little band going on, they are brilliant. Um, and the landlord is leaving and now we've got cake. Cake, food drink and we cake for the party. It's fabulous. <laughs> We've just said bye to Sanjay and all the all the all the regulars, I suppose, that that, that, that come along and uh, have supported Sanjay. And that was basically Sanjay's leaving do that we gate crashed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, I mean, what a uh, what a what a brilliant night. Did you enjoy it, too, Bob? Yeah. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah. So I've just shook hands with Sanjay and just said, well, after that poem, we we heard a poem about him earlier, and it was like, I said, well, I wish I knew the guy. You know, he sounds really nice. But, Best yeah. of luck to Sanjay. Yeah, absolutely, in his future and stuff. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen to this place, but anyway, it's one of those nights that just happens out of the blue and that's it, isn't it? We've so. had a good night. We have. Cup of tea time now. Is it? Yeah, just yeah. for me. You've got, you, we haven't got any more beer, have we? No. No, you've already, no, I, no, you've already drank Tom's Christmas present. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was last night. <laughs> so and I've had a few beers now, so I'm all right. You know, I'm just going to get the bed so made cup up. Cup of tea time, Jamie. Get the yeah. bed made up. Yeah, cup of tea time. But oh, we've got a long way to go from the pub to the motorhome. <laughs> so let's, let's we're gonna, start walking. We're, we're going to stagger to the motorhome. Hey, <laughs> 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 go on, get staggering. 
Go on. Stagger. Oh, <laughs> you're waiting outside the door now. Because I've got the key. <laughs> I'm sober, you're drunk. <laughs> you're sober? I'm You've sober. You've got three Baileys, get yeah. out. No, but only three, and then I had a lime and pond. I am sober. Mm. Are you sober? No, just had cider. And I <laughs> oh. She says falling up the step. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a nice, sort of calm, overcast morning. And I'm just going around at the moment, just uh, checking the tyre pressures and putting a bit of air in the tyres. Uh, and then I'm going to do the same to the car. And and then, um, what are we on there? Yeah, that's a bit too, oops. Oh, that's come out. That's cool. Yeah, so just getting uh, getting some pressure into the tyres, they're a little bit low, particularly the back ones. I think when it was jacked up, they were on the back tyres for <clears throat> two, a couple of days and it just uh, yeah took a bit of air out of them. So I'll just uh, put that back in. I'm going to do the same with the car, just check the car tyres and give the car a bit of a clean out because it's looking a bit of a mess at the minute. So anyway, just been chatting to the guy out of the uh, overlander there behind us, uh, Vince his name is. And uh, yeah, he's been, they've been living in it two years now and they've just got back from Mongolia. So uh, their aim was to build something like that and, uh, and then go to the furthest places they could by land. So Mongolia, out of Mongolia being one, from the UK, I think. And Timbuktu, I think he just said he was going there in a couple of years time with a couple of other trucks across Africa. So yeah, so we're all at different, places within this van life doing different things uh, his idea is that once they've done that and they get older they're going to move into something like this uh, but my my aim would be to, to have something like that and then go and yeah explore a lot further afield and what have you so you never know it, it, it's, it's what happens will happen at the end of the day so but, ah did we have a cracking night last night I hope you enjoyed that um, yeah, the guy that owns the pub or, or leases the pub, Sanjay, is leaving, moving on. Don't know whether he's going to another pub or what he's doing. But uh, And so some of the locals basically gave him a bit of a send-off party and we kind of gate crashed. Um, but what a welcome we got. It was fantastic. So um, I definitely recommend this place for a park up, the Harrow Inn at Warnborough. I'll put the details down below as I always do. Um, <clears throat> but um, yeah brilliant night we loved it Jamie loved it the guys on the guitars and uh, and the and the and the keyboard uh, Brian I think his name was on the keyboard um, yeah fantastic loved it so um, just all the memories you make doing this kind of thing it's you know that that without me coming here and seeing my friend in Swindon which was also a brilliant afternoon uh, Dale didn't want to be on video so um, so yeah we just had a four or five hours chatting away and we haven't seen each other probably over 10 years and we just kind of carried on where we left off really it was just it's, it's great when you've got friends like that um, that you you haven't seen for years and you just you, you carry on like you only saw them yesterday so yeah it's really nice to see him and uh, hopefully we're not going to leave well we won't leave it so long this time we we will be definitely um getting out on a trip because they've got a motorhome as well so we'll definitely be doing another trip with uh, dale and tracy i'm sure at some point like we did 13 14 years ago on the bikes but uh, we'll be in motorhomes this time anyway <coughs> I'm waffling on again. I, I like getting outside the van and waffling, don't I? And I really need to be checking to make sure that's not over-inflating. Let's have a look. Oh, nearly there. Another two or three PSI and we're good. Right, and then I'm going to clean the car out, as I said. So, um, I won't show you how disgusting it is in there. I, I, I opened a packet of crisps last night when I nipped down to Alfords to get a screwdriver set. <laughs> and then turn the steering wheel with a packet of crisps in me hand and then just spilled the crisps all over myself. But... So don't eat crisps and dry, folks. Mm. Well, we left Swindon around... What time do we leave? About half past 12 in the end. I got chatting to Vince, the guy in the, the big overlander truck. And uh, yeah, so we got chin wagging and um, left a little bit later than expected. But uh, it was only about an hour and a half, maybe or so. 
to get here and I've just turned up at my friend Paul's who lives about five miles outside Aylesbury so and uh, thankfully he's got a bit of well the farmer that he knows has got a bit of land at the back of his house that we can park the van on and uh, he hasn't got a back gate which is a bit inconsiderate I thought he'd have had one fitted but anyway so we've now got to walk <coughs> out of the farmyard back up the lane you know it's he needs to get himself sorted out really so yeah here we are <laughs> And you lost snake. What's going on? <laughs> Who's the fat stranger behind you? <laughs> no, not behind you. You are the fat stranger. Oh, behind me, did you say? If you don't know who the fat stranger is, guess what? Well, we've got up this morning and uh, another overcast day, but at least it's dry, isn't it? And we just chilled out at Paul's and then decided to come into the little village of Wendover which is about half a mile from where Paul lives, isn't it? Oh, they've got a band about to play by the looks of it. Bit of a market going on. Christmas tree. Antiques that one down there. You all right? Yeah. Good. Oh, look at this. Hot malt cider and craft beers. Lovely. Excuse me, what was that? It's like the size of your forehead. What is that, cheese? Yeah. <laughs> You're cheeky so-and-so. <laughs> right, yeah. Meat. Oh, what we got here? Artis artisan toasties. Lovely. Tea room in it, hey? Yeah, but look at the chairs. Though. I know. Yeah, well, it's not really ideal for sitting outside today, is it? Well, yeah, I suppose it's not wet, is it? But oh, maybe it might be cl closed. If that's why the chairs. Oh no, no, it's open because there's some people inside. Oh. Yeah, some people inside, but isn't it tiny? <laughs> Lovely. Listen, can you hear the birds? Tweeting away, aren't they? So last night we slept in pools, didn't we? Yeah, so you and Mum slept in the spare bedroom and I slept on the sofa. So, sofa surfing! <laughs> so, what are, we going to, what are we doing at the moment? Walking, listening to the band. Yeah, walking and listening to the band. Mum's still in the frame shop, isn't she? She is. Yeah. Oh, and they're getting a round of applause. Whee! So, yeah. I'm in a little wander around Wendover. Paul's going to come and meet us, isn't he? And then we're going to go and have a coffee and a bit of cake or something. Yeah, or yeah. maybe some sandwich or something. Oh, whatever. I don't know about that. Is Mum coming yet? Not yet. No, can't see it. Fire look. It's nice, isn't it? There's Eric. Yeah, there's Eric. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Well, I found the treasure chest. You found the treasure chest, have you? I think it was this one. Oh, right. Yeah. Very good. It's a nice little shop, this, isn't it? Yeah. With all antiques and things in. Some unusual stuff. I'm still looking out for him. You're still looking out for Eric? Yeah. Eric the monkey. Where, 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 where's Jim Bob? 
Oh wow, look at that steering wheel. Classic leather steering wheel, love it. What it's like to go normally. Christmas to Nan and Grandad. Grandma and Grandad, eh? Yeah. Yep. Come on then. Yep, so we left uh, our friends Paul in Aylesbury a couple of days ago and we made it up to Lincolnshire, stayed at a friend's in workshop two nights ago and then we stayed at my friend Paul here in Ruskington last night and we've just, just given you a little bit of a tour of the village where I grew up, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. And then we thought we'd come and see Nan and Grandad and Grandma and Grandad at the at the cemetery. Just say Merry Christmas to them, didn't we? Yeah. And now we're just going to go back to Paul's. He's now at work, and Sally's gone out. So uh, we're just going to hook the car up, and we're heading to Skeggy Hello. for Christmas. Hello. Hey. There we go. Oh, all right in the back? Yeah. All good? Yeah. Go and see Famine Skeg then. Yeah. Hey. Oh. So yeah, lovely couple of days. Business and friends up this way before heading out to the coast. Oh, it's certainly turned chillier though, hasn't it? Again. Wind's picked up and uh, yeah, certainly got colder. So. Right, you got your seatbelt on? Good, good, good. good. Marvellous. Right, let's get cracking. So after all the drama of the van being broken and getting repaired and then back on the road again, we finally made it back to Skegness to my mum's for Christmas. Hey! Right, so we're going to go in because uh, we've got some, I've got my brother here already. So um, yeah, let's go and see what they're up to. <laughs> Morning, buddy. Morning. Morning, Eva. Good morning. Bob. Are you filming? Yes, I am. Are you going to post it on YouTube? Yes, I am. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm making Jamie an avatar. Oh, for Roblox? Yeah. Oh, all Eva. kicking off. Eva? Can you get in the shower? For goodness sake! <laughs> Kids, eh? <laughs> hey, Diddy, do you want to make a new coffee? Oh, hello. Morning, Richard! Morning! Morning! Why do you have to film me? I haven't done my hair. I look glamorous. You always look glamorous. There's <laughs> Trace. <Tracy. laughs> oh, Trace. Hello. What are you got on? Good morning. You look I like you've got, got some, Christmas it looks like some kind of superhero outfit. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm wearing because that's exactly what I am. Superwoman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll have a cappuccino. cappuccino. You've got another nice little bobbly jumper oh, on, yeah. Dan. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I've got a nipple. <laughs> I don't know whether we can put that on or not. Even <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Leaving so soon. There is four of us. Hey. Leaving so soon. Yeah, we've had enough of you. <laughs> I say, yes. what do you want? Hey. Hey. <laughs> what are you saying? Grace takes so long? Too 
Okay, um, my, Good morning. My, my rain Hello. coat down. <laughs> Have you not gone yet? It's got the air no. in it. <laughs> checking your list. I'm checking my list. Yes. I'm checking it twice. We're gonna find out who's naughty or nice. <laughs> Santa Claus is coming <laughs> to town. <laughs> He'll see you <laughs> when you're sleeping. He knows when I'm awake. <laughs> he knows if you've been bad or good. So be good. For goodness sake. Oh, <laughs> Harry Styles is coming to town. <laughs> Are they mad? Right. Oh, <laughs> right, you going? Right, we're going! Hooray! <laughs> so my brother Dan and his wife Tracy have gone and uh, Julie's gone out to see her dad so I've cracked on and got the van washed. So uh, yeah, it's looking a lot better. Um, um, the last time I washed it was when one was here actually. So anyway, Julie will be laughing because I'm a bit of a, a one for trying to keep it clean and washing it. but. Yeah, happy again now. I've got to just go around at some point, probably after Christmas, between Christmas and New Year, and just give it a bit of a polish in places. But uh, that's got the worst of the grime off for the last six weeks of traveling. So, nice and clean for Christmas. Well, here I am in uh, the laundrette. Something I've not done before. Um, and I'm using the laundrette in the evening after five o'clock. So it's going round. It was full and there were no dryers left. Um, so I stood by the window for a little while and was looking at my phone when I got a message. And the message was, look out the window. Um, from Dino Angeloni. And I thought, Oh, he's been hacked. It'll be some kind of Christmas video or something. So I ignored it. And then I got another message saying, Oi! So I looked out the window and lo and behold, he's sat there in his car as me. So um, while I was waiting for a dryer, I popped out, had a chat with him. Um, lovely to see him. He's all good. He's about ready for Christmas, I think. And then I came into, um, back into the laundrette to do the washing. And he did say that Emma was in here. So I ha I've just had a laundry liaison with Emma, Mrs. Angeloni. And it was lovely. We've had a chat about cruising. We've had a chat about um, pets and what they mean to us. And we've had a chat about family, about Christmas. Um, so yeah, it was really nice to catch up with them both. Um, so, hello, Dino and Emma. Um, she also, she also is going to share, Emma is a chef, and um, she's also going to share a secret recipe with me. So I'm delighted on that one. Thanks, Emma. Um, so now I'm in the laundrette on my own nobody here and the washing the washing is about dry i didn't dry uh, wash it here um but i came to dry it here and it's quite cheap i think i think i've put in four pounds but that is for uh two loads so i think that's fairly good anyway so i'm gonna sit and wait for this to dry and then i've got to go to Aldi, get some shopping because we've got no food. Um, Jamie is now at Grandad's, which is my dad, and he is he's had tea and he's watching telly with Grandad and Tracy and he's staying the night there. So yeah, gives us a chance just to catch up on some things that we need to catch up, you know. Christmas, which is going to be different this year obviously um, because I recently as you know if you've been watching um, I've recently lost my mum I haven't spoke about it a lot obviously on camera 
um, it is a private thing and everybody goes through it at some point in their life. Um, yeah, I'd say grief comes in waves, um, but it's good. It's, it's good because you have to, you have to talk about it, reminisce, get things out. I, I don't bottle things up because it doesn't do you any good really. Um, so good and bad days, but we, we all have them, you know. Um, and I've also got to do a couple of phone calls, catch up with a couple of people. So who I want to catch up with, who I've been wanting the time to catch up with, you know, I don't want a two minute phone call. So yeah, I'll be doing that as well. Right, I'm gonna see if this laundry's dry. It's our first Christmas in our fine bus. We're excited about it and guess what? Santa's coming tonight. I know, Santa's going to be really busy tonight bringing Christmas cheer to many. Unfortunately, it's not always a good time of year for everyone. So our thoughts are with those that are alone and homeless in areas of conflict and have their first Christmas without their loved ones. This year, we're spending time round at my dad's and memories of mum will be shared. We will conquer Christmas. It's always nice to get our family together, so we'll be enjoying time with Jade, Matt, Tom, and the rest of our crazy clan. So wherever you are, we'll just like to say, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas from, from our, our home, home to yours. yours. We wish you all the best for a happy, healthy, and adventurous 2024. Never mind. Tom and Matt. Well, whoop, no, whoop, no, whoop, no, whoop. Hello in the background. Hello in the background. <laughs> <laughs>